What you're about to watch is a perfect demonstration of the same kind of miracle that happened in the life of the man at the beautiful gate in Acts 3. Watch and see for yourself and give God the glory. Oh, look, what a pitiful sight. And what a sad story he must have of his suffering due to the debilitating condition he is in. This poor, handicapped man uses his hands and feet to drag himself along the ground, unable to afford a wheelchair or any alternative to get around. This man has been in this crippled state for the past ten years. With tears of despair running down his cheeks, his face is an expression of utter helplessness. He cries because he is not only lame, but living in abject poverty. What poverty this is! Can you imagine what it would be like to crawl on your hands and feet as your only option to get from place to place? <laughs> In search of even the basic necessities, he is here to meet Prophet T.B. Joshua, to care for his needs in terms of money, food, shelter, clothing, or a wheelchair to aid his mobility, just as Prophet T.B. Joshua has been providing for others in the same situation as him. He is seeking silver and gold, but what is his essential need? Is it silver and gold, or is it healing? Look at his hands, calloused, rough, and filthy are the hands he uses to pull himself along the ground. He reaches inside his ragged shirt and brings out a soiled, grubby sack, which is tied around his neck. From within the sack, he brings out a plastic bag containing all the money he has, not even enough for a square meal. Leaning to one side, he shows the tattered foam padding he uses as a cushion to make his moving a little less painful as he drags himself along. The rough foam is all he has to protect himself from the hard earth, stone, broken glass, nails, and other sharp objects he encounters all the time on his way. He goes to wait for Prophet T.B. Joshua at the gate of the Synagogue Church of All Nations to ask for money and help, just like the man at the beautiful gate in Acts 3, who asked for silver and gold, but Apostle Peter, through the power of the Holy Spirit, gave him something more than silver and gold, something that makes money insufficient. He was given his essential needs. Just exactly like the man at the beautiful gate, this man sat at the gate of the synagogue church of all nations. What could be his essential needs? A wheelchair? A house? A meal? A friend? Is it money or something more? We pray his case will be like that of the man at the beautiful gate who asked for money but instead received something more. While Prophet T.B. Joshua was conducting the Sunday service led by the Holy Spirit, he moves outside the auditorium and walks through the street, greeting members and receiving prayer requests. The man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, is on his way to the gate. He sights the man and heads straight for him, 
not even stopping to ask what he was doing there, or why he had come, as if he were looking for someone in need of healing. God can use any medium to heal. In this case, he uses Prophet T.B. Joshua's shoe as a point of contact. In the name of Jesus, rise up. And the man awkwardly rises to his feet for the first time in ten years. Before he even takes his first step, Prophet T.B. Joshua leaves, knowing that it has been done. And, as he often says, I am not the healer. I know the healer. His name is Jesus Christ. Jesus has healed this man. It is a miracle. Members who saw what had happened came forward and gathered around the man at the gate, encouraging him to move his legs, one after the other. Not used to standing on his legs, he is understandably somewhat unstable. With each wobbly step, his confidence grows that he is healed indeed. That week, the man went to show his family the great thing God had done in his life. Overjoyed, his family followed him to the synagogue church of all nations to appreciate God's goodness, testifying to the glory of God. Mr. Ajay, now beautifully dressed in white trousers with a shirt and tie, proudly rises to his feet and walks in front of his family, demonstrating his healing. My name is Ajay Ogunleye. The problem brought me to Snagosh Church, the Church of All Nations, the problem of a creep. I'm creep for good 10 years. Formerly, I'm a balis. I try to treat myself and I'll move around to my mates that we do the same Abba. No way. And when I'm starting to be walk up and down and beg for what I eat, that is where I meet one lady. Is the one who introduced me to the Snagosh Church, the Church of All Nations. That is how I meet Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua a picture of Jesus in my dream. The one that I see in physically is that he put leg in my own leg. That is how he tell me to stand up. That is how I stand up immediately. And that time I start to be walking by myself, do everything by myself. Now I'm the one who came from Akure by myself. So therefore, I want children of God to Help me chat three Emmanuel. 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 The man of God didn't collect any money from me. My promise to God is to run for sea and live my remaining life to Jesus and worship to Jesus properly. After sharing his heartwarming testimony, Mr. Ajay stands up smartly and walks around the church auditorium. sharing his joy with the congregation and exchanging a few handshakes. One can hardly believe that this gentleman was the same person who crawled through the streets on his hands and feet.
the evidence of Jesus Christ is lives changed. Rejoicing with pilgrims to the Synagogue Church of All Nations from all across the world, Mr. Ajayi leads them in a processional dance. Thank you, Jesus, for the man at the beautiful gate of our time.